Why, hello everybody. How are you doing? Here's what's going down, guys. <clears throat> We're going to play something that I busted out yesterday that I loved a lot. All right. I wish I was making a video on. Oh my. Wait, what the? Whoa. Okay. What? Wait a minute. Hold the phone. <laughs> Does this mean. Yo. Omnivamp. Healing percentage on all the damage dealt. Okay. Dude, Cho'Gath round one sounds amazing. Hello? Wait, this is like literally a dream come true. <laughs> Are you telling me I'm gonna gain stacks off of this? 1200. 1224. Dude, we're literally gaining stacks off of eating minions. I love this. Yo, getting Cho'Gath round one is the greatest thing ever. Hello, hello, hello. Arcanist attacks deal bonus magical damage equal to 30% of their ability power on hit. No thanks. Your units with no traits active gain a whole lot of goodies. Your units heal for 10% of the damage dealt by attacks or abilities. Excess healing turns into a shield. Huh. Your units with no traits active gain through. These both suck. Arcanist attacks? No. Celestial blessing? You literally cannot go wrong. Thank goodness it gave us that option, because otherwise we would have been in a world of a hurt. But, <clears throat> bruiser bonus, count me in, bruh. We're not giving away one computer, but we're giving away two to anyone in the world. All you have to do to enter is follow a few of all of our social medias and get points for doing so in return. The more points that you have, the better chances you are going to have at winning. So, click on the link in the very top of the description, smack the Gleam link on the tweet, and boom, start collecting points. Good luck to everyone. And remember, this giveaway is worldwide, so anyone has a chance at winning. And this giveaway will end on November 9th. Good luck. Are we really doing this right now? <clears throat> I think we are. I think we are. Okay, so let's think about this. Protector, protector, protector. But I like the bruiser option a little more. Let's level you up and go with that. All right. Hot dog. All right. Wish we could put in some mutant bonuses, but no Kogma in sight. But <clears throat> bodyguard, yes, please. Um. Don't worry, I am here. I actually care about this more. We're gonna backline our boy Cho'Gath and rock with this, dude. <laughs> Stacking Cho'Gath from literally. <clears throat> literally round one this way he can stack up to be massive alrighty <clears throat> wait my choke got stuck oh my god he enforcered us that's not okay it's really not okay this omni vamp will be nice our HP is going wild <clears throat> we gotta stack this sucker up dude <laughs> He's gonna have healing as well as even more healing and even more healing. I think we can sell this guy now, get that item off, and do our thing. I really hope we get fun augments this game to make Cho'Gath wild. Alright, Celestial Bonus in the bag. Thank you very much. Hmm. The earlier we can level this guy, the better. Ideally, we see how many stacks and how much HP we can get on this bad boy. Oh boy. Once upon a time, I was playing Cho'Gath as well, and we put an Orn item on him. Oh my god, he would have eaten him alive. Huh. Let's, we need to get creative here. Alright, econ wise, we're kind of chilling. <clears throat> Chem Techno, Enchanter, maybe. Let's sell these, buy this. I guess we have to hold on to the Casadinos as well. Maybe just leveling up here is the best. We literally don't want, like, any tier 1 champions. I don't know about this. Bruisers. We'll eventually, we'll eventually be able to put in four bruisers. Maybe we just chill for now. <clears throat> Maybe we just chill for now. We actually have great items to pair with. Maybe a Hez Taco, Titans, Warmog. Those are some juicy, juicy items. Once upon a time, we'll have to find the regen item for Cho'Gath down the road. That's gotta be so nuts. 
So not eat him, please. Ay, ay, ay. Whatever. We need to get him a tier two before we start stacking like crazy, anyways. We're lost streaking pretty freaking hard, though. I'm not gonna lie. Let's do this. We are our last pick. And, uh. Yeah, we've got options for days. Maybe. This is probably the safest one. <clears throat> the more he stays alive, the better off we are. Alrighty. Spank Plank, how you doing? Maybe this is when we swap on over. We're gonna have so much healing. It's not even funny. 35% <clears throat> Omni Vamp with this 33% healing as well from abilities. Oh, heck yes, dude. His Munchies, his Munches are gonna be doing absolute work. All right, now the real question is, what do we put in next? Do we prioritize the Socialite? Do we prioritize the Bruiser? Or where does this all begin? Munch, oh my God. If you have the socialite bonus on him, he actually was good to go there. You hate to see it. <clears throat> I think we actually focus on that. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. More damage he gets, the more chances he has of actually knocking someone out of the park, Manchi wise. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Even putting in an extra Arcanist sounds not so shabby. I'm a little upset. He's spaghetti. We passed up on the uh, <clears throat> somebody uh, gangplank, but that's okay. And for now, we're still chilling. Cho'Gath, we're going to get you stacked up, buddy. Don't you worry. If you guys do, take the time to drop a thumbs up. Oh my gosh. I'm going to come give you a smooch right now. Sniper bonus emblem. We know where he's going with that one. He doesn't have the uh, mutant trigger, the auto attack twice, Kog'Ma. So, he's not going crazy there. Dude, we have so much healing from Cho'Gath, actually. It's crazy. We have the Celestial Blessing. We have the Hestaco Gunblade. And the Omni Vamp from Mutant. This is so nice. And 76 HP on a 5 loss is not bad at all. I like it. I like it. Let's put you back there. And level you on up, my friend. Ay, ay, ay. Oh, God. I actually don't know if we win this. Let's do this instead. <laughs> I think with the social aid bonus, we don't win this round. But I definitely do not want to spend any gold on anything. Alrighty. Cho'Gath, you can stack off these guys as well. Hit him with it. Ay, ay, ay. We gotta up his damage so he actually starts one-shotting things. Otherwise, <clears throat> no bueno. Oh my god, yes. Bro, a Chalice of Power will go a long way as well. The more bonuses we give this dude, the better, okay? <sighs> Bruiser Vi, mm, no thanks. It's alright. But, yeah, no thanks. Allow you, sure, why not? Let's put back in him. You over here. And Chalice of Powder, here we come, baby. I love this. At what point do we start rerolling like crazy for Cho Gats like no other? All right, putting in another Colossus would be lovely. I'm looking for Galio down the road. Also, our ulti doing way more with that Chalice of Power. I love that. A still. Can't freaking one shot the guy. Ay, ay, ay. More healing, buddy. More healing. Come on. Ay, ay, ay. There's also an Elderwood mutant trait that would be insanely good for Cho'Gath as well. But I think the Omni Vamp won't be bad. All right. If this next um, augment is nice, I'm going to be one happy camper. That's for sure. I say we still rock the losses, take them on the chin. And once we start winning, we try to go crazy. This would have been the perfect game for the uh, gain 2 HP after every round. Because we're not losing by that much. Let's see. We'd have 12 extra HP. We'd be rocking 80 HP right now on a 6 loss streak. Dude, that sounds <clears throat> ridiculous. Literally ridiculous. But in your guys' mind, what do you think the best Cho'Gath build is? Okay, there goes our 12 HP that we would have had from that. My goodness, that hurt. Augmento time! Celestial Blessing. You need to heal for 10% of the damage dealt by attacks and abilities. Excess healing. Don't I already have that? If I get two of them, what the heck happens? After 15 seconds of combat, your units deal 75% more damage. This could be good with Cho'Gath. Your units heal 300 on a kill. This could also be good on Cho'Gath. I think since Cho'Gath will be alive for so long, Ascension is going to be the move, okay? After 15 seconds of combat, your units deal 75% more damage. He's going to be staying alive... I like this. 
I like this a lot, actually. <clears throat> Alrighty. Let's think. Uh, do we need the mercenary? No, not really. Let's do this. Bruiser on up. More HP for you. If the rounds go long, <clears throat> that is where we shine, baby. Oh my gosh. Bro, this is going to be the craziest game we've freaking ever seen. Yes, a War Mogs would be nice. If we can just level to him so his stacks actually kill people. Boom, baby. There's a stack. Count it. We also need to level him soon because we're approaching the 10 stack mark. All right. So we have ascended. The damage is going up. Honestly, losing this round by one champion would be goals. Jin, are you missing your ultimate? Are you stupid? Oh, God. I'm pretty sure I win this. Oh my god, I actually wanted to lose that. <clears throat> Dude, Ascension's too good. This is wild. This is wild. Let's see. War Moggy Mogs, good for us. But, believe it or not, I think a Titans will go a really long way as well. It'll help them stack up and come later on in the round, give them more AP, more AD, become the tanky beast we need him to be, okay? I love this. Na, 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 na. We'll sell you. Titans you up. And now he's going to get large and in charge real soon. I think we're going to roll the most <clears throat> at level 7. Level 7 is when all the rolls are actually going to go down. And putting in 5 mutants sounds wonderful. Let's see, anything we can help create with this to become stronger? I don't even know. Dude, I actually love this so much. Alright, so, at the 15 second mark, that's when Cho'Gath will definitely be one-shotting, one-bopping people with his ultimates, okay? We have healing from three different sources. Here we go, time to ascend, baby. And... Oh my god, hello? Bro, these chemtex just blew up all over our face. Alright, that's why losing the last round would have been wonderful. We would be making stacks right now, but it's all good in the hood. Let's see, Academy Challenger, no thanks. Here's one of these, no thanks. Hmm. We don't even get much stronger from leveling. Therefore, I don't want to spend all this gold. You know what, 16 gold, better roll odds. We'll throw in one more bruiser. Why the heck not? The win-loss streak, we legitimately do not care about much anymore. So we can chill out on that. What's this guy got? Challenger Heart. Tome of Traits. This guy's all leading on traits. I think late game, we're going to scale way better with our augments that we have. Bro. This Omni Vamp is beautiful. As well as the Ascension. Eat him, please. The fact that our size is going to grow as well. Check this out. For those who don't know what Cho'Gath does, Cho'Gath devours the lowest HP enemy within his range, dealing X amount of damage. If he kills the target, Cho'Gath gains a stack of feast, up to 10 stacks. Each feast permanently grants 2% bonus health and size. Okay. We're getting large and in charge. Um, hmm. Follow my voice. I actually like this a lot. Five mana per second. It's going to help him ulti way more often. <coughs> Which is oh so nice. Maybe triple socialite with Cho'Gath on it could be sick. Heal for 20% of the damage dealt across the board. Yes, please. I'm curious how much this 5% mana will be helping. Hey, stop lagging. I wanted to sell you. All right, now that we're level seven, now we can focus on the roll of Ruskies. Wow! <laughs> that was the best roll I've had in a long, long time. Bruh. That's what I'm talking about. Let's think for a second. Jeweled Gauntlet, great and all. But not quite what we're looking for, okay? Not quite what we're looking for. 
Oh my god, he was one HP off. You gotta be serious. Or you can't be serious. Uh, I think we hook up Tarek with the uh, Thieves Gloves action. Dude, this bonus mana, it's nice. It's nice! We're going to Feast Town and back, baby! This is so good! Alright, our stacks are going up at a very high rate right now, and I like this. Alright? Thieves Gloves can't really buff up our boy too much, but with these, we could possibly get a Chalice of Power or something in there to make something crazy happen. Alright? I do like the idea of a Morello way down the road, so we'll see how that works out for us. But I mainly like the situation we're in. Once we find a Mundo, I don't even know. Double Socialite might even be better. I'm actually not too worried about the Mundo, if I'm being honest. Dude, this build slash setup is sick right now. I'm loving the healing that we're getting. Munchity Munch got the stack, dude. 1300. There we go, baby. There we go. That's another one. Add it on to it. We're going to be approaching 20 quickly. Once we don't get any more stacks, we're going to need to all in for the tier 3 chill gap. For the unlimited stack mark. <laughs> I'm so excited for this, dude. I really am. We're at 3,000 health. We got to keep track of Cho'Gath's HP because once we 3 star, then the stacks that he can reach up to are now uh, basically unlimited. I'm curious if a death cap would be good. I'm not sure. Monstrity Monst, just so we never run into not killing someone with our ulti, you know? Dude. I mean, it does do a lot. He definitely does do a lot. This whole ascension thing makes it so Cho'Gath is actually going to be able to carry beyond uh, or into the later on rounds. Let's see. We're not going to be able to get many more items, so I think this is the safest one to snag. Thank you. Don't mind if I do. I might want to wait till our augment pops up because who knows? Maybe we find the Orn artifact augment. And I would hate myself if we passed up on the regen option. So I'm going to wait to connect this Warmogs. Look to roll like crazy starting now. Do we care this much about Kogma? Let's bounce. Screw it. We'll hold on to a tier 2. Why not? Why not? Cho'Gath, where you at, big guy? There you are. There you are. Okay, so that's groovy for us. Huh. Maybe putting in people that just um lower everyone's HP is the move. I don't know. <coughs> Malzahar is going to go to level 2. That's fine. We'll keep him at that. And keep on doing your thing, buddy. Oh my god, dude. If you got one more feast off, that would have been slick as all heck. Let's sell you and Cho'Gath. How dare you, my friend. How dare you? Augmentos, here we go. Level up. When you buy when you buy experience points, you gain additional four. You can now reach level 10. Okay. Champions appear in your shop as if you were one level higher. Okay. Your units heal 600 health on a kill. I think this is the move. When you buy experience points, you gain four additional. You can now reach level 10. I don't think we care about level 10. I really don't think we do. Healing 600 on kill sounds sick. If we were one level lower, maybe, but I'm going through all the hunt, baby. Each kill, I want Cho'Gath to heal up like a freaking mad lad. Yo, what are the odds? Oh my god. I'm not going for the Malzahar. I'm not doing it. I ain't doing it. Oh my god, dude, I'm rolling so much! I need to chill, I need to chill, I need to chill, I need to chill. <gasps> Holy! Okay, um, wow. Yep, wow. I think Scholar might be sick for us. Alright? Just because the more HP we hand over, the better. I think we roll down. So Cho'Gath's Feasts have a higher chance of killing. 
Oh god, I need to slam jam the stupid war mog as well. Sorry, buddy. I could have put that terror bear in a perfect spot with the Zeke's as well. That's my bad. We're done goofing all over the place, but we're gonna pull this one out of our booty, baby. Do we even care that much about the mutant bonus or what? I'm honestly not sure. Also, definitely should have done that. I feel a little stupid about that one, but you know what? It's okay. It's okay. All right. If the off chance we get a Titans from these, <clears throat> I'll probably run that instead. It's not likely though. Also, I'm going to roll down for Cho'Gath starting now. Just so we can make these feasts go even more crazy oh man a double Zeke's would actually be pretty sick but I don't think we do it let's commit to the war mogs baby commit to the mogs and commit to the three star bro look at his HP 6745 um okay <laughs> this is this is good this is really good Wow. <laughs> Where do we even begin? All right. I do want to put in Cho'Gath. Has Taco Gunblade. Don't really care. This guy's going to be eating everyone, dude. Literally everyone. How many stacks is this guy going to get? He's going to become so massive. He's eating four people this round alone. <laughs> I love me some Cho'Gato. All right, nothing else matters besides making this guy insane, okay? I legitimately don't care about anything else. All right, that being said, maybe we, like, nerf the Malzahar or something? Dude. Oh, my God. So, I don't even want to make anyone else stronger. I literally only want Cho'Gath to go crazy. He heals 600 off a kill. He has Celestial's Blessing. He does 75% more damage after 15 seconds pass. These augments are insane for this guy, dude. If we can put in Colossus, that'd be money. Takes less damage. Oh my god, I love Cho'Gath, dude. I literally love Cho'Gath. <laughs> this is going to be the coolest game ever. I can already tell you that right now. All right, Malzahar, you're dealing way too much damage, buddy. Way too much damage. Tarek, you're a two-star. You don't deal much damage, so that's good. But we're trying to keep everyone as weak as possible so that uh, we can take over the planet. We need this Galio, bro. <clears throat> Level nine would be huge for us. We can also take out Zack. I don't even know what's going on here. I just love that we have Thrill to Hunt 3. So every kill... Our boy is healing. There's a munch. Oh, come on. There's a munch. He's going to be eating so many people per round. This is ridiculous. Look at him go, dude. Feed him more mana now. 7,000 HP. Munch. <laughs> he is collecting all the goods right now. We're going to make this dude... So beyond unkillable. Ooh. Zeke's for attack speed. Honestly, don't really care too much about that. Mutant spatula, I am definitely a fan of. Oh, <laughs> you know what that means? We can put in five mutant for omnivamp like crazy. Your team gains omnivamp. Healing for a percentage of the damage dealt. We're going to go up to 75. 75 omnivamp. That's ridiculous. I really don't want to get rid of the uh, social light that we have, though. So let's get creative with this. Thank you. Thank you very much. Is this how things are going right now? Well, frontline Kogma, we don't care about him. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, this is crazy. <laughs> Alright, so we have 75% Omnivamp now. Socialite looking great. I really want to put in Scholar. 
Who can we get rid of? No one. I think Scholar's gonna have to go bye bye. I really want Galio. We'll probably drop the Yumi for Galio. Come then. That sounds that sounds best. <clears throat> then we'll take 25% less damage. And be a okay, dude. It is not very often your Cholgath can get this crazy. We're at 8.4k now, bro. <laughs> Why am I attacking for so much damage? Like my auto attacks are just chunking. The top three are all on win streaks. How is that even possible? What? All right, that's actually crazy. Um. I don't want to give anyone this locket. I really don't. I want everyone to die besides Cho'Gath. Literally everyone. It sounds kind of messed up, but that's just what it is. Socialite plus five mutant come next round. Bro, this is going to be on another level of stupid, man. We can get rid of these guys. We can hold on to the Cho'Gato for now, I suppose. I literally don't even want to level up anyone else. I want to keep everyone one star. I want Cho'Gath to be the star of the show. We have Ascension. We heal so much off of kills. Manchity Manch, baby. Come on. Manchity Manch. Heal more, you stupid. Oh my god, dude. What? 22,000 damage? Are you kidding me? He actually pulled that off. You've got to be joking me. Oh my god, this is actually so good up until it's not. Academy. Ay, ay, ay. I don't really care too much about Academy. Academy have a bonus attack damage and ability power. They also learn from allies, gaining additional bonus whenever their allies cast. Yeah, this sucks. This really sucks. Whatever. We're not giving Academy to anyone else. If we have a reforge, that'd be wonderful because we have these items we don't care about as well. We this is definitely the most fun game we've played. We I think we can hit a Galio. Remember, we don't want to level these guys up. As stupid as that sounds. Um... MR, go ahead. Oh my gosh, yes, dude. Uh, you take this. Bro, five mutant, three socialite, and heal for 20% of the damage they deal. Cho'Gath has even more healing, bro. I've never ran three socialite before. <laughs> but I'm digging it, let me tell ya. Literally, is everyone a one star out on my team? Okay, we gotta nerf this Kogma. He's dealing way too much damage. Way too much. I cannot believe this, bro. We're still gaining in size as well. Oh my god. I can't believe I'm gonna be rolling down for a Kogma right now. There's a small chance he kills people that we don't want to die. We gotta save that for our boy. Show Gat's got to eat, baby. I thought we found him. Hmm. Gluttony, huh? This is fun, but not what we're going for. Bro, where's our Kogma? Kogma. We have no academies anymore. That's kind of awkward. Chalice of Power. I suppose we should buff up a healer more so than anyone. Just in case of our boy Cho Gat gets low, you know? Dude, he's literally eating everyone every single second. Ascension time, here we come. Bonus damage activated. <coughs> Thank you very much. Keep on munching, big guy. Keep on munching. Oh my god, bro. We're gaining size and HP per stack. How many are we at right now? If somebody can tell me how many stacks we're at, I will personally give you a cookie. All right, we got the worst Kog'Maw in there. That's good. Let's hold on to this and chill. 
Well, hello. This guy might be a little scary. I'm not going to lie. Oh, God. We're chained down right now. Cholgath is chained down, dude. <laughs> it's literally him versus the world, bro. If he wins this, Cholgath's the best unit in the game. Keep on eating, buddy. Oh, my God. I believe in you. No, that freaking shield. Thank you. I need more. Oh, Cholgath is falling. Cholgath is falling. Cholgath is falling. Oh, I'm scared. 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 Stop giving me this stupid whatever this thing's called. Uh, shroud. This will help. This will help. Ooh, you know what would have been good? A spatula. And then we put in Malzahar. That actually would have been pretty groovy. Alright, I'm starting to get a little nervous. Just just a little bit. Nothing crazy. Nothing 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 out of the ordinary. Nothing too wild. <clears throat> Let's do this. Oh boy, okay. If we level two Galio, I think we'll be in the slick spot. But him holding our choke half back. That was scary. Alright? It's alright, Cho'Gath. We can get stronger off this guy. <clears throat> and kill everyone else around us. Oh my god, no. No, 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 Come on. Do we care about gluttony or not? Gluttony's nuts. Um. Okay, we're screwed. Let's see. We're probably against this guy. This is a good Zeke's. This is a good Shroud. <clears throat> we're coming back stronger than ever, baby. Oh my god. Our Cho'Gath is locked down. Come on, big guy. I believe in you, buddy. I believe in you! <laughs> this stupid claw, bro. He got one off of freaking thieves' gloves. Are you serious? Ay, ay, ay. Eat everyone alive. Keep on stacking, baby. Keep on stacking. You got this. I can't watch, bro. I literally can't watch. I literally cannot watch. Are we winning? Did he eat someone? Oh my god, we're winning. Yes, dude. Yes. We're getting stronger every single round, baby. That's what it's all about. All right, we can sell you. Level you up. All we need to do is level Galio and we're chilling. The stun duration will be massive. As for who wants a hurricane, this is literally so useless. We have so many bad items, it's crazy. <laughs> oh my God. Did Choke have feast on that guy? Any bit helps. Any bit helps, baby. Speaking of any bit helps, unfortunately, this does not apply on hit effects. Therefore, Kogma, you are a useless piece of potatoes. Don't worry, I am here. But we'll give this to you anyways. If we find another Tarek, I'm gonna do a little uh, refresh on his items. All right, no Tarek. Mundo. No thanks. Ay, ay, ay. This is scary. This is scary. Oh, come on, buddy. You got this, dude. I should have moved my Zeke. That's no bueno. I can't watch, man. I can't watch. He's still stacking. We're at 11,000 health. Can we get 12,000? Can we get 12,000? Munch. Can we get 12,000? Dude, we're so close to it. A few more munchies and we can knock him out of the park. All right, Kog'Maw, no. This, no. We need to level up Galio. No. 
Oh my god, this is actually beautiful. Double chalice of power on that? Yes, please. We could sell the Kogma in hopes of finding a better Galio, but no thanks. Oh, this is what we want. This guy costs three gold? Oh my god, okay. I thought this guy cost two gold. I'm an idiot. I almost lost our mutant bonus for that alone. Sorry for throwing you under the bus, Cassidy. You know, I apologize. <clears throat> Cholgath has double chalice of power right now, so his Monchis do a lot. Which is going to make his healing even more. Oh my god, he's one verse freaking ten. Bro, I can't watch this! <gasps> Come on! <laughs> He's at 12,000 health. Dude, thank goodness for Ascension. Each one of his monsters do so much. Uh, did I just heal for 10,000? I just healed. I literally healed for 10. I did 36,000 damage. Are you kidding me? Oh. This game is out of this world. Stupid crazy, bro. Here's our level 2 Cho'Gath that we once upon a time almost freaking had. This is probably who we're up against. Oh no, it's a tier 3 MF with the Morellos. That is so terrifying. <clears throat> that is literally terrifying. Thank God, no more stupid claw over there or whatnot. Let's do this setup. Alright, this is good. Great Zeke's. We get the dub, we buy the Galio. <clears throat> Redemption on deck. HP wise, we're at 12,600. Make that 12,700. <laughs> Dude, this guy is becoming freaking massive, bro. Literally massive. If there's one video to drop a thumbs up on, I genuinely think it's this one. Okay, Arcanist. Oh boy. Arcanist actually would have been good. It actually would have been good. Uh, your team gains 20% ability power. But, Chalice of Power also gives ability power. We're only buffing Cog or Cholgath. That's all that freaking matters. So, yes please. Thank you very much. We got to hand over the Zekis as well. This is actually perfect. Let's move these guys to this side. And Cho'Gath right here. Zeke's for Cog and Cho'Gath. Double Chalice for these two. Oh, beautiful. I'm always ready. I'm always ready. I, can make a difference here. I like this. I like this. Please take your items. I do you not want them? Are you allergic? Okay. She doesn't want him. You heard the lady. Are we versus both? Yes, we are. I think we are. I don't know. Are we at 13,000? We're at 13,000. <laughs> I knew Cho'Gath. From the second I saw him, he would be my favorite champion. I literally... Did he just beat us? Did, hold up. Did that guy just beat us? I think I might have just beat us. Don't worry, I am here. Don't worry, I am here. Don't oh worry. man. I am here. You guys want to sell a Tarek in hopes of trying to find another Tarek? No. Those are actually pretty decent items. Bro, oh, come on! Oh my god. Alright, here goes nothing. I should have done a better uh, shroud. Oh well, we got the Vicky and Echo. You know what? That's fine. That is fine. That is fine. Thirteen fifty HP. Will Cho'Gath? Dude, his whole HP bar is gonna be so big that you can't even see his HP anymore. Come on! No, we're gonna lose. We're gonna lose. We're gonna lose. No, we're not. 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 Guys, take your stupid mouse. Thumbs up the video. From round one, turning into God mode. Bro, what? <laughs> Look at this. I wish I could have seen how much that would have just done. From 36,000 healing onto this. Wait, he's. 
Wait, how's he? How do you not die? How did he not die? Did he have HP? Did he have 23 HP? Because I'm built different. Okay, you know what? That makes a lot of sense. Huh. Ionic Spark looking cute as always. Let's sell you for Econ. Let's level up Galio. And if we lose now, that'll be uh, kind of embarrassing. I'm not going to lie. Lock into my pocket. Yes, please. Who do we even give this to? Malvahar. Okay. 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 Please give us something. Do we two-star the Mal's or what? Their time is short. Hot daily dog. Another good pair of items for our boy Tariq. All right, this is the last round. I probably should have done this. Rolled. We find the Galio. We get a Malzahar as well. Sell this Malzahar. Put that Malzahar in. Buy the level 2 Galio. You guys know how it works. All right. But I swear, if we've come all this far just to lose this round, I'm going to be so freaking upsetty spaghetti. Can we get 15,000 health? Can we get 15,000 health? so close we're one away we're one away oh my god bro are you serious we were one monster away from fifty thousand. <laughs> that last victory would have been it guys ten thousand likes i will come to your house and give you a smooch all right we'll see you tomorrow if you're not subscribed smack the button don't forget about the pc giveaway peace